first of all create a folder on desktop uh, so here i am going to create a folder labeling it as xrd then save the xrd data file in this particular folder so this is nothing but my data file xrd data file then double click on match phase identification software icon so this will open the software package so here i have installed the demo version evaluation version so it will be available for 60 days only after 60 days the file the program will not be opened it will not be executed so you have to purchase the package from official website so presently i am making the use of only evaluation copy so continue so this is the main view of uh, match phase identification package software so here before going to main program before going to the process so i am going to options in which i am going to select data sheet option so here you can see number of uh, options for representing for showing data the standard data so here i am selecting data sheet so you can select 2 theta or d only so here i am going to select 2 theta if i select 2 theta so it will show the uh, peak position xrd xrd characteristic uh, peak position in terms of uh, 2 theta only click on ok so before processing of data go to file menu click on open so select the corresponding xrd data file so this is nothing but the xrd data file of my sample click on ok so before moving further so through this program we have to do some settings so first initial setting is this one so this is nothing but smoothing of raw data so if you click this one uh, the program will be improving the signal to noise ratio so i am going to click this one then the second step is to remove the background the intensity carried by the amorphous nature of the material that will be removed if you click this knob so i am going to click this knob then the third one is nothing but stripping of k alpha to radiation so most commonly the instrument will be using uh, ku copper ku k alpha 1 radiation only even though you can remove the fragments of uh, k alpha 2 radiation so by clicking this one then go to pattern the fourth step so here you can see correct zero point error if you have any instrumental error so here you can correct so i did not find any error nothing but any deviation so i will not be selecting this one then you can select the each xrd peak manually or automatically so first of all i will show you automatically so click on this one so automatically the peaks will be selected so here you can see the peaks are selected automatically but if you want to select the xrd peaks manually then I drag the cursor over the corresponding uh, peak so for zooming in then press control through keyboard then x along with control press x that will display a vertical line on the screen so this is nothing but the vertical line so place this vertical line exactly at the maximum position of each corresponding diffraction peak press control through keyboard place the vertical line at maximum position then right click the mouse so the particular peak will be selected manually okay so for zoom out left click double left click the mouse zoom out so again i am going to select the next peak so dragging the next peak for zoom in so again press control place the vertical line and the maximum at the maximum position at the maximum intensity of the peak then right click the mouse the peak will be selected so in this way you can select the remaining peaks
so from 20 to 70 degree displacement position i have selected all the peaks so if you have any idea about the sample then you can select the elements of the sample so here i have prepared the zinc oxide so i know z z n zinc and oxygen so you can select z n and oxygen then that will show you the available database which is related to the elements zinc and oxygen otherwise you can run the program automatically so here i am going to select run so this will show you the available well matching data so depending of uh, depending on figure of merit so here i am going to select the first entry Now my obtained XRD data will be compared with the standard database. This is nothing but the standard database. So I will show you the information of the standard database. So click on this one data sheet. So this is nothing but crystallography open database entry number 9690411 The phase is nothing but zinc oxide. So here you can see crystallography open database. So according to the standard database, the sample should have the lattice parameters A equal to 3.2533 uh, angstrom and while C equal to 5.2073 angstrom. So according to standard database, the location of uh, characteristic peaks. So this is nothing but two data values and the corresponding uh, peaks. So in terms of HKL. So this is nothing but the information about the standard database. So I am going to compare my obtained data, samples data with respect to this standard database. Then I am going to click on this FP foolproof uh, suit. So that will calculate the lattice parameters, other structural parameters. So I am going to click on this one FP. So you can do automatical or you can do ritual refinement by selecting each one. So here I am interested in calculating lattice parameters only. So in beginner mode, I am selecting only unicell parameters, run full proof setup. So here you can see the chi square value is less than 3.5. So it will be okay for me. So you can save the ritual refinement process to the data by pressing this button save resulting files so i'm going to save all those files and the particular folder what we have created initially so this is nothing but the folder so in this folder i am going to save my red weld refinement data files process data files then if i click this one that will generate the xrd data report so this is nothing but the data report. So save this uh, data report and the same folder. So on desktop, XRD. So here I am going to give the name as uh, ZNO. If you want to see the corresponding Miller indices, then right click here. You will see the option HKL. So these are the labels, Miller indices, labels of corresponding XRD peaks. So we will move to the report. So this is nothing but the final report of the processed data of my sample. So here you can see Ritfeld refinement. Yes, done removing of uh, k alpha 2 that has been done removing of uh, background subtraction yes done data smoothened done the wavelength used during scanning process so 1.540 phi angstrom nothing but k alpha 1 radiation so this is nothing but standard database this is nothing but standard database 
so whenever if we find capital a in this report that will be, that will be representing zinc oxide so the standard database the crystallography open database entry number is 9690480 so with respect to this standard database my sample has been processed so according to this standard database the lattice parameters of the given sample uh, zinc oxide so 3.2533 angstrom c value is 5.2073 angstrom so a value c value and it is hexagonal crystal structure so this is the list which shows the location of uh, xrd characteristic peaks in my sample so at uh, position 31.55 so i have a peak with the width 0.5389 so that is matching with a a is nothing but according to standard database so a here a is nothing but zincite zincite that is nothing but zinc oxide that means the presence of the peak at this particular position is related to zinc oxide similarly there is a second peak at the particular position 34.21 with width of 0.4033 so that is also well matching with uh, standard database zinc oxide so you can see all the peaks are well matching with the standard database therefore i can conclude that my sample is going to have pure zinc oxide uh, hexagonal crystal structure so here you can find the evaluated lattice parameters of my sample with respect to standard database so here you can see these are nothing but the values of my sample a equal to 3.26491 but with respect to standard database so a equal to here 3.2533 3.2533 so my sample has 3.26491 okay so these are nothing but the evaluated lattice parameters of my sample so finally so this is nothing but the processed xrd uh, graphic of my sample